In this video, we're going to look at the intersection of sets. So I have my universal set. That's everything under consideration. In this case, it's the set of digits, 0 through 9. We have two other sets, set A and set B. And our object is to put all of those digits into the universal set in the appropriate place. We'll call this set A, and the digits 1, 4, 6, and 8 will have to go in there. And this we'll call set B, and the digits 0, 2, 4, 8, 9 will go in there. If you're in both A and B, then you're going to go in this section right here. If you're not in A or B, you're going to come on the outside of this. So let's just start putting them in. A universal set is the set of all digits. So let's start with the digits. The first one is 0. 0 is in B, but not in A. 1 is in A, but not B. 2 is in B, but not A. 3 is in neither, so it's in the outside. 4 is in both, so it would have to come in here. 5 is in neither. 6 is in A, but not B. 7 is in neither. 8 is in both. 9 is in B. And now we've put in our 10 digits. Now the intersection of these two digits is the part they have in common. They are in both A and B. And, and is the big word here. So 4 and 8 are considered the intersection of the two sets. So we say the intersection, this is the symbol for intersection, an upside down U, the intersection of A and B equals the set of 4 and 8. Key word with intersection is that it is what is in both. It's got to be in A and in B. And is the big word for intersection. Hope that helps you understand intersection of sets. As always, have a very happy day.